Are you good? All right. First and foremost, we would like to give all praise on the glory on two. Yeah, how um double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing salutations to the hopeful lake out there pushing his word and truth and the sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, pushing to get up out of here. Shout out one to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners that have came back, you know, to the obedience of the scriptures, you know, in the name of you, how about Shima Al Shai? You know, what we're going to get into today, you know, with GMS Mississippi, you know, GMS Memphis Camp, you know, um, collaborating again in the spirit, you know, and just going into, you know, debunking, you know, an old Christian, you know, fable, you know, dealing with the rapture, man, you know, because there's going to be a lot of Christians. You know, very disappointed when they find themselves in the midst of all our chaos and their rapture plane don't show up, man. You know, it's going to be a lot of people unprepared, you know, because a lot of Christians think that they good, man. You know, these heathens, you know, which have nothing to do with salvation and some of our simple ass people, man. You know, they think, you know, that they have nothing to worry about. Like they can just ignore. All right. What the prophets are saying, you know, the warning from the prophets. You know, and they uh, think, you know, that they just going to uh, be switched away, you know, from all this chaos just to befall the earth, man. You know, but biblically, that's not true, man. You know, and we're going to deal, you know, with precepts, you know, to uh, prove that, you know. So um, get that second Ezra 7 and 18, bro. The second Ezra 7 and 18. Yep. Nevertheless, the Bible the righteous to suffer straight things and hope yeah. for why the righteous they, said they, straight things, you know. So let you know that the elect, all right, will have to go, you know, through through different difficulties, you know, before that relief, you know, comes, that salvation comes, man. You know, go ahead. It said, nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for why. For they that they have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet. Should not see the why. Yeah, so letting you know that the righteous and the wicked, you know, will go all right through difficulties, man. You know, but their difficulties is not going to be, you know, uh, uh, you know, the difficulties that we go through. You see, because we're going to have a standard, you know, that's to come. We're going to have a hedge. We're going to have, you know, assurance. You know, we're going to have provisions, you know, in that day. You know, so we're going to be, you know, uh, in same scenarios, we we'll see there's going to be a deliverance, you know, for the uh, for the elect, you know, all the way up until that great deliverance, you know, um, via the chariots, man, the return of your house shot, you know, you had some up, kind of. Oh, you got. It. This is a uh, Revelation three and ten. It says, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, yep. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world." To try them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah, so it's going to try everyone that dwell on the earth, man. You know, the elect, the heathens, all right, the unbelievers of our people. You know, we're all going to be tried, man. You see, but the only difference is the Most High setting his elect up, you know, for victory, man. That's why the Most High, even with this, um, you know, with this uh, social distances and quarantine, you know, and, and, and all these things, well, the, the men of the Lord had already been social distancing from these people, man. You know, staying away, you know, from these people, man. You know, not on the scene like that, man. You know? So at the end of the day, the Lord has always is always preparing his elect, you know, setting his elect up for victory, man. You know? And why? Because we kept the word of his patience, man. You know, stayed obedient, stayed doing, you know, what was required of us, you know, being brotherly, you know, feeding the sheep. You know, and, and, and working out our own salvation in our individual day to day, man. You know, so since we uh, kept that part, 
the Lord going to keep his in, man, you know, and we're going to go into, you know, how the Lord is going to keep us, you know, during these times, because the main thing, you know, dealing with the mark of the beast that people, you know, are concerned about is not being able to buy and sell, which means they're not going to be able to eat, man, you know, but we have an assurance, you know, within the scriptures, you know, uh, that we can lean on, you know, and we can walk by faith and reject you know, this man's, uh, uh, you know, uh, vaccines and his uh, RFID chip, you see, the mark of the beast, because we have assurance in the scripture that we're going to be good, man, you know? But you got to tie up, Isaiah 65 and 12. God. It's a lock bro. <clears throat> good, huh? This uh, the book. is the book of Isaiah, <clears throat> chapter 65, verse 12. It says, therefore, will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Yep. Because when I go ahead. Because when I because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Okay. Yeah, and that's going back to um second Ezra 7 and 18, where it says, you know, the the, the wicked. You know, it's gonna suffer straight things, but she'll not see the why. All right, and this going into what's gonna be going on, they're gonna be bowed down to the sword, which means all right, they're gonna be subjugated, all right, to the uh uh the the, the um the the will of Esau Edom. You know, Esau Edom is gonna have his way with a lot of our people through their sword, man. You know, we finna see a lot of our people get put to death. You know, by Esau's uh, uh, weaponry, man. You know, whether it be this uh, 5G, you know, terror towers, you know, whether it's the, the direct, you know, uh, sword, the gun, you know, from his troops, you know, or the, the direct energy weapon or however, you know, it may be, however it's fit, you know, our people going to be subjugated to that. The most high going to bow them down to the sword, man, you know, but yeah. so they refuse, you know, to hearken. They refuse to repent. They refuse, all right, to consider their ways, man, you know? So they're finna, they finna go into this thing with no hedge, you know? And they finna be uh, consumed, you know? You got it, bro. All right. <clears throat> Verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, your whole power, behold, my servants shall eat, mm -hmm. but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Come, you see, so you see the Lord is showing that, you know, we're going to be on earth, man, you know, because if it was a rapture, you know, why would you need to eat while other people are starving, man? You know, why would you uh, have a, a joy of heart? All right. And there's people vexed, man. <clears throat> you know, if you're not, you know, in the same scenario, man, you know, Showing you that we're going to be here, man, because you eat and drink on earth, man. These are earthly things, man. You know, you're not going to be doing those things in the spiritual realm, you know, or, 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 or somewhere in the clouds, man. You know, mm -hmm. no, man, you're going to do those things on earth, man. So showing you that the Lord is going to make provisions in that day, man. You know, we, we don't have the mindset that we just going to, you know, skip over the tribulation. No, we got to go through it. But see, we go through it with the reinsurance of the scriptures, man. We're going to be good, you know? Um, you can get that in... Um, you got one, bro? Yeah, I got one. Okay, you go ahead, bro. That's all. You get that second. This uh, John 17 and 15. It said, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the word, yep. but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Should keep us from the evil, man, from these bad times, man. You see, like I say we're not going to be set up to be consumed, man. See, the wicked of our people, they're going to starve to death. All right. The wicked of our people, you know, they're going to be sub subjugated to these race wars and these uh, 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 these civil wars. All right. That's why you see these people out there protesting. The majority of our people out there now protesting, you know, don't know what's going on because. They they got they they finna have to deal, you know, with this thing carnally, man. All them guys heaping themselves to the NFAC, you see, they gonna be subjugated, you know, to all these things, all these evils, man. You know, but the elect, 
All right, we're going to dwell under the, the, the shadow of the Almighty, man. You know, go ahead, bro. I'm going to jump over to uh, the 16th chapter. You got it. The last verse. John 16 and 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the word ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the word. Yep. Hey, so we're going to have tribulation. We're going to have to go through it, you know. But our peace you know, comes from uh, 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 back, you know, which is the spirit of prophecy. You see, we understand that the tribulation that we finna go through, this is not the end all be all, all right? This, this, is just, this is just, you know, a temporal trial, you know, that we have to endure, man. You see? So our joy is within Yahweh because eventually Yahweh is gonna return, you know? He's gonna physically return. You know, so while we go through those tribulations, our joy gonna be within it, man, and that's what's gonna get us over that hump, man. You know, through that faith in it, man, that the actual second return, you know, of Yahweh shot and that deliverance, man. You see, um, you guys are. Yeah, that's, that's the last one I got. Current, you want that second Ezra two? Yeah, twenty seven. Yep, yep. Current. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 2, verse 27. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt yeah, be merry so and have abundance. That's another scripture that assures us, you know, that we're going to eventually, you know, be relieved, you know, from um, uh, uh, these difficulties that we're going to go through, man. All right. That's us hoping for the why. That's that why. You see, that favor, you know. The righteous, you know, suffering straight things, but hoping for the wide. This is their wide, man. You know, us being abundant, having abundance and being married, man, while other people are through. You see? But we've got to go through it, man. You know, and that's why, you know, it's been on the apostles, you know, starting the elder apostle heart, you know, for brothers just to, you know, gird up their lawns in the spirit, man. You know, because we're going to, we, we're going to have to be closer to our power than ever, man. You know? To go through what we finna go through, man. You see? So <clears throat> at the end of the day, all right, that rapture doctrine, you know, people being taken away, just disappearing, you know, out of nowhere before the tribulation comes, you know, that's not biblical, man. You know, we gonna have to go through it and we're gonna have to uh we gonna, and it's also gonna be a purging process, you know, for the elect, man. You know, this is our last, you know, purging process that's gonna make us come out, you know, is that uh pure gold, man. You know, spiritually, man. You know, so uh, you guys are on top of the map. Hey, bro, uh, Bob Kushan, can you get Zachariah on that note? Can you get Zachariah 13, uh, 8 and 9? You know, yeah. since you're speaking on that purging, that purging process, and the whole thing about the elect is that we have to go through the fire. You know, we have to be tried. We have to be found worthy of their salvation. All right. And uh, the whole thing for like the brother read in uh, John 17 and 15, which I was going to bring out. It was, you know, beautiful. Yeah, I was shot prayed. He said not for us to be taken out of the world, but us to be kept from the evil. You know, <clears throat> so who is that that's going to come through these evil times? Uh, you know, without falling subject to all the different tests, that main test being the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. That's his elect, man. Right? And this is what Zechariah 13 is getting into, bro. You go ahead. Um, this is Zechariah 13 and 8. <clears throat> and it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, you how about Shema Oshai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Mm -hmm. See? Okay. Two thirds, that's 66.6 percent, man. All right, and that's talking about out of the nation of Israel. So, you know, those uh going back to Isaiah 65 and 12 who won't bow their back all the way down and receive this word, they're gonna get caught up in the fire, man. All right, mm -hmm. the uh the, the race roars, the riots, the um uh, uh martial law, okay, and like I said, the ultimate test is gonna be. That are if I teach you. Come. Uh, verse 9, it says, And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried, 
and they shall call on my name and I will hear them and I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord you how about your mouth shy is my power that's right man you know and you know just speaking on the uh, purification of, of, of gold process you know true gold doesn't crack under pressure man you know mm -hmm. if it's if it's really uh, uh you know that that malleable that true gold you know, when it's going through that refining process, it goes through different stages of, of, of fire and the fire is constantly uh, uh, elevated, so to speak. You know, the fire is constantly uh, raised until it, it gets off all the impurities. So the, the trial of our faith is, you know, if a brother want to get that, is basically uh, what that affliction in that fire is, man. You know, we, we on trial and we're being tested to see who is worthy, all right? which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah already knows, but it's a testimony to the world that those are the men, um, you know, that 144,000 in, in, in the one third, those are the men, women, and children who did the work and believed on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right, through faith. And the, the brother Kodah said he's backstage. So I get that, I'm coming. I get that power of trial. Coming. Now this, um, and, first no. Just to make a point, it said that we were going to call on his name, you know, in the midst of that fire, you know, going back to the fire, which is the Lord's anger, like you say, which really is just Jacob's trouble, you know. But um, showing you that we would have the name during these times, man, you know, because how would we be able to call on the name in the midst of the fire, in the midst of this tribulation, if we didn't know it, you know. And it made me think because Nate, his, um, his argument is that uh, – we will have the name in the kingdom. Well, maybe for you and your followers, you know, because hey, a lot of you not gonna make it. But when you born in the kingdom, you'll get the name, you know. So yeah, you you'll get it in the kingdom. We got it now, man. For cause the Lord's preparing us for uh, a deliverance, man. You see, uh -huh. but you coming in the name of the Most High and Christ, blessed. Oh yeah, you'll get the name in the kingdom because you gonna die right now, man. You know, but you got it, bro. Uh -huh. Go ahead, I know. Uh, this first Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, thinking that strange concerning the fire trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice, and as much as ye are partakers of my shock suffering, that when his glory should be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. Hey, the Lord, the Lord's glory, all right, just like a man's, a husband's glory is his woman, Yahweh Shah's glory is his elect, man. All right. That's what he put it all on the line. That's why he went through the fire for us, man. You know, yep. and he's going to come and say, hey, this is why I, I, I gave it all up. You know, this is why I came down off the throne. All right. And had my blood shed for these men, you know, because ultimately it was for the elect sake, you know, and the rest of Israel will come through the elect, man. But on this side, they got to die. man. They got to die because they refused constantly uh, 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 to hear this word and hearken, all right, and um, uh, uh, you know, remain faithful unto death, man. Yeah. See, a lot of our people, you know, they'll they'll uh, put their life on the line for folly, but when it comes to spiritual things, you know, they have no sacrifice for that, man. Yeah. You know, um, um, can I jump to the uh, first chapter? Cause, uh, can you hold Proverbs the first chapter? Come, come. This first Peter 1 and 7 that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perishes, mm -hmm. though it be tried with fire, might be found to praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Mashah. Yeah, going back to what I was saying about you know, two thirds they'll die, they have those uh, get rich or die trying models, you yeah. know, uh, 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 you know, money over everything. But this word is the true riches, man. You see, trusting in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is the true riches. So when it's all said and done, when this money system fails, you know, when you can't go clock in, you know, when you can't go out on the streets and uh, uh, uh get that uh that liquid that liquid money, all right, from uh, selling drugs. Now what you gonna do, man? All right, it's 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 it's, it's a whole uh system set up to fail. But Yahweh Bashimi Hawashai is going to make a way for his elect to uh, succeed 
through all of the, uh, you know, through all the turmoil and all of the, the affliction, man. You know, all we got to do is trust in him. So uh, let's get, let's go to Proverbs 1. One in, uh, start around 23. All right. This is Proverbs 1 and 23. It says, turn you, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Keep going. Because I, because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and none, no man regarded. That ye have set at not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. Go ahead. I also, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And who the most fear... high going to do that to? Who, who the most high going to do that through? You know, he's talking about when the time of Jacob's trouble comes. You see, the most high going to be laughing at two thirds of his people. But who is he going to use to laugh at them? His elect, man. You know, we was watching. Uh, I was watching some video. I can't remember. I've been watching so many videos a day. But it was either one of the elders or one of the brothers. And they were saying, you got to have some sort of spirit on you. To be able to laugh at Jake dying out here, man, eating his babies out here, man, you know. But that's the yeah. type of spirit that the that's the type of spirit that the Most High gonna put on us. You should to say something's up. Yeah, I was just gonna say they call it dark humor. You know, when you laugh at dark times, you know. Yeah, yeah, because uh, you know people gonna gonna think we crazy, which they already think we crazy. You know, it was like it'll be like. What type of man is this to be to be laughing at, you know, death and, and destruction? Because we understand what death and destruction means for us, man. The death and destruction of the wicked, all right, is the is the is the raise raising up of our kingdom of righteousness, man. You know? Uh, I got a quick one. I got a quick one for you, bro. Go ahead, bro. It's um Sirach 39 and 29. It says fire and hell, famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing punishing the wicked to destruction. Punishing the wicked to destruction, man. You know, hey, it's not for it's not for us to be destroyed. All right, it's for us to be revealed as the Lord's elect. We gonna see the Lord is not gonna take us out of the uh the, the vengeance that he's bringing upon the wicked. You know, he's not going to move us out of the way. He's going to put us there for our eyes to be a witness, man. All right. We're going to witness the coming of the Lord's glory. Everything uh, 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 leading up to it, even if it means death, man. You know, we may, we may, we may die. It's a chance that certain men, certain men are going to die. Certain men are going to be martyrs for this truth, man. You know, and we're going to get, uh, we're going to get Matthew to back it up. But first, I'll go ahead and finish that. We'll get Matthew next. The read, Proverbs. Yeah, read, just, yeah, just read this chapter on now. Okay, current. Uh, it says, But ye have said at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When you fear, when your fear cometh your, as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For yeah, that see, that's when, you, that's when you, uh, you know, you IUIC and all you camps out there that don't uh, want to use the name and call on the name, then you're going to be trying to, you know, get spiritual and, and go back to calling on the name, you know. It's going to be all sorts of uh, 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 jakes that's been faking this funk, you know, been faking the funk and the truth all this time, man. And then they're going to try to get spiritual, man, because you got, uh, you know, IUIC, you know, they talking about ain't no Jacob's trouble, man. You see? So when reality hit the fan, you know, and everybody that's being led by uh, uh, Bishop Nate, all right, you're going to be uh, you're going to be left in dire straits. With no way out, man. If, if I may add too, like, hey, there's people uh, that that we know personally that you know might listen to us, family members, 
you know, that might listen to us and believe, but, you know, they, they didn't do anything about it. And at that last minute, they might try to call upon the Lord and sh sh like shall seek thee early. But hey, it's, hey, you didn't get right when the time was right. So they're going to get left. Um, yep. And the Lord, he ain't going to deal with that lip service, man. The Lord, the, what, he, what, what the Lord is truly trying is your work, man. You know, that's why your work and your faith go hand in hand. So if you ain't if you ain't did no work all this time, your faith ain't ain't really about nothing, man. You know, you can say you believe, you can say, yeah, I know the name, you know, and you can be that guy to ride by camp every Saturday, shallow warm up, you know, and and walk by camp, shallow warm. But at the end of the day, that's that's not enough, man. And you hey, and you know who are we to say? That it's, it's gonna be uh brothers is gonna get saved in the twinkle in the eye that's gonna make it. But you know, that's between them and the most high. But I wouldn't bank on that, man. I wouldn't bank on it. I'm just gonna slide by, man. You know, you've been sitting on the couch watching videos and sparing in the spare of the moment doing your own thing. You have to do this thing wholeheartedly, man. Is your how about shimmy how shy? All right, they know your spirit, you can't fool them, man. It's good to say that the Lord said many of them should call him uh, saying, Lord, Lord, you know, but Lord said, I never know you, man, you know. So this, um, okay, Luke 6 and 21, just to back you up on 11. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye should be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh, you know. Yep, yep. So it's a spirit that you're supposed to be in, man. Uh, I know, uh, the other one, the Zagba was getting on uh, you know, these Christians and these Israelite camps and that Murph spirit, you know, you out making rap, hip hop videos, calling on Yahweh Shah. Hey man, the most I ain't trying to hear that, man. As a matter of fact, um, uh, real quick, uh, give me Amos six and five, I believe. Uh, Ayash, I think it's Amos six and five. Amos six and five. Yeah, I believe so. It say, "Remove from me the noise of thy vow." To my, it might be five and twenty-two. Come. I tell it, and then uh, read them two scriptures. Uh, All right, this is book of uh, Amos chapter five. Uh, started off. Uh, Matter of fact, I started on. Um, I just get straight to the point. This is uh, Isaiah, Amos 5 and 23. And it says, Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vows. Mm -hmm. It says, But okay. let you run down his waters and righteousness as a mighty man. Hey, he said, let judgment run down its waters and righteousness as a mighty man, man. All right. So he, he's telling you the standard of what he wants, man. The Lord, you know, that's what them Christian churches into entertainment. You know, you can't entertain and moonwalk and break dance, you know, Christ, Jesus Christ, you know, joking to Jesus Christ. He ain't trying to hear that, man. He wants judgment going. Hey, get that where it says the Lord loving nothing but judgment. Is it in Psalms? No, and we're gonna get back to the Proverbs, but that's what the Lord loves, man. The Lord loves for judgment to constantly come out, man. All right. Hey, uh, what did it say? Be instant in season, out of out of season, reproof, uh uh rebuke with all long suffering, man. Exhorting each one another daily, man. Because brothers be uh, always here at GMS. We always looking for, uh, 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 you know, this truth to flourish. So whenever somebody go against the doctrine, somebody coming out with uh, uh, here heresies, you know, we jumping on it, man. Full throttle, you know, because that's what the most high love, man. You got it, bro? Yeah, this time I got I'm Okay, come. Now nah, you go ahead and get yours, and I get out of you. Now this Psalm 37, 28. For the Lord love of judgment and forsaken not his saints, they are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked should be cut off. The Lord say, say read it again. It said, For the Lord love of judgment 
and forsaken not his saints. Mm -hmm. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked should be cut off. Hey, they are preserved forever. All right. So, hey, man, the Lord going to keep us safe as long as we doing what? His work. As long as we coming forth with the judgment that he, he set up for us to bring out, man. All right. But it takes the Holy Spirit for you to do that. You got it, though, Yash. Uh, this is um Isaiah 61 and 8. It says, For I, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I, and I will direct their work in truth and will make an everlasting covenant with them. <laughs> he said he hate robbery for burnt offering, man. Mm. You know? Mm. What we supposed to be, what are we supposed to be doing as uh, as preachers and, and, and uh you know priests, a royal priesthood? We're supposed to be presenting ourselves holy and acceptable unto the most high, you know, a living sacrifice, bringing forth a uh, 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 righteous sacrifices, man. The Lord, you can't entertain the Lord, man. You know, you, you can't do uh you know all these uh, uh different antics. You know, like these churches, you know, they put on these different shows, man. The most I ain't really into that, man. Oh. You know, you know, it ain't knocking brothers, you know, that's, uh, you know, sometimes you get together. We may have a good time and we may have, you know, some drinks, but that's not for the camera, man. You know, the scriptures say better is a man that hide his uh, 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 folly than a man that hide his, uh, his, his wisdom. I got it right Go ahead, bro. Uh, so like for the one fifteen. A man that hides his foolishness is better than a man that hides his wisdom. You know, that's the spirit, man. And you see Jake out here not applying the scriptures. So that's why judgment going to come down the pipe on every level, starting with the circumcision, starting with those that know the master's will, that know they Israelites. You know, you finding out you're an Israelite, hey, man, you better light a fire to your ass to figure out what you're supposed to be doing as an Israelite, man, and make sure you... uh. You know, doing the things that's pleasing to the most high before the congregation, man. I can bring this out real quick. Con, then we're gonna go back to the proverbs and then we'll uh we'll we'll get the closing, you know, precept dealing with this rapture, man. Uh this it's like Isaiah 29 and 13. Wherefore the Lord Yahweh Shamasha said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. And they feel toward me is taught by the precept of man. Yep. And that's not the mindset you want to be in, man. Being a man pleaser, doing things before man to be seen in the eyes of men. You know? Hey, because at the end of the day, you're going to be out here alone, man, most likely. You know? You know, the brotherhood and everything is here for you right now. All right? But when the ultimate test comes, you don't know if you're going to have any brothers with you, man. You know, most likely it's going to be a time of solitude, you know. So so you, as it says in the scripture, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You know. Yes, sir, man. That's it. Okay, so I, Bob, I go back to uh, Proverbs and then you hold that uh, Matthew. Uh, back in Proverbs 1 and uh, 29, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own own way and be filled hey, with their that's own. What you see, that's what you see going on with the apostles and elders, man. Why do you think they constantly getting on uh, these other camps, man? All right. That's reproof. That's correction. That's what we're supposed to be doing. All right. <laughs> and what do they do? They completely ignore it, man. You know? You got brothers begging uh, 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 Nate to answer questions. Hey, explain this. Break this down. You know, uh, uh, we, we we ignore uh, uh, Tahar. We, okay, you ain't ignoring the apostle. You ignoring the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. it, it, if I may add, like it, it was saying, like, uh, therefore shall they eat of their own fruit or of their own way uh, and be filled with their own devices. You know, it's like, Hey, whenever you tell somebody over and over and over again, hey, don't touch that. That's hot. You're going to burn yourself. They still are like all about trying to touch whatever's hot. It's like, well, fuck it then. You're going to burn your own self. Like you're going to have to learn the hard ways. Yep. 
We kind of said, but it won't be, but it, but it won't be because we didn't tell you it was hot. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and then the fruit, the fruit of their doing. You know, like I said, you you got guys like GOCC, you know, a higher your shire, you know, that's who gonna have to come through for you. You know, the whole time Christ blessed, that's who gonna have to come through for you, man. See here, like you you can play and laugh right now, you know, because bodies ain't dropping. You see, yeah, you can go tomorrow, you know, uh uh, you know, drink your uh Limpton green tea and light your incense, you know, and chill. You see, but when bodies start dropping and you really need to save it, when Esau, all right, is in your front yard, you know, when 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 you see helicopters, drones flying over, all right, tanks in the neighborhood, you know, you're gonna need a saving, man. You see? And you're gonna have to deal with your own devices, the fruits of your doing, man. You're gonna have to deal most high in Christ's bliss is gonna have to come through for you, man. Christ is gonna have to come through for you in that time, man. A higher your shy gonna have to come through for you in that time, man. You know, your your guns, you see, Jake, like I say, Jake got the guns and fringes. That's what's gonna have to come through for you, man. Cause that's the fruit okay. of your doing, man. You know, you got it, bro. Con, that's in uh, um, judges. If I can get Justin. it real quick. Con. Yeah, that's good. You got it. You got it. Yeah, I with you. yeah go ahead, go ahead. Uh, this judge is 10 or 13. Yet ye have forsaken me and some of the gods. Wherefore I would deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let, let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Uh -huh. you, got, you got Jake the worship the uh the nigga woman, you know. You got Jake the worship, you know, clout in this society. All right. The woman worship herself, you know, social media, you know. Hey, all these things gonna have to come through, man. Esau technology, you see. That's why when uh, uh one of the uh one of the um, consequences of the, of the chip is you gonna have to uh feel the fury of your how about Shimao shower with no mixture, man. You know, that means you gonna have to take the full brunt, you know, of the Lord's anger, you know, because you chose Esau's technology over him, man. You know, so whatever you choose in these times, that's what's going to have to be your deliverer in that day. And we know there's only one deliverer, man. All right. There's only one man and in, in whereby we must be saved, man. Acts, you know, 4 and 12. And that's your house shot. You know, he only he's the only ordained savior, you know, of our people, man. You know, but a lot of people, you know, they finna have to deal with this shit head on with no hedge, man. And that's gonna be, hey, that's gonna be the worst position that you can ever be in the history. Because the scripts say it's gonna be like a time since there never was before. You know? Yep. So you come to the worst time ever with no hedge. You know, you just out here, man. You know, you got it, bro. And, and the Lord said, uh, pray not for these people, neither lift up a crop for these people, because I would not heal them in the book of Jeremiah. So I, it, they finished, you know? Yep. Hey, and you look at all the, uh, like I say, look at the generations of old. You look at all the men of the Lord and the prophets that ever had to be uh, tried. What did the Lord do? You know, he, he put them right, he put them head on in it, man. You know, I was listening to the Atlanta camp today, man. They was going to Brother Shaar from Dallas and uh, uh, Elder Tazawan, you know, the up and coming elder from uh, Atlanta. You know, and they was talking about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, you know. Don't you think the Lord, if he wanted to, he could have just took that whole situation away and made it to where they never went in the fire? What the Lord do? He had the fire be amplified, man. You know, he had he had he had uh 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 uh, uh Babylonians raise the fire up, man. You know, <laughs> he made uh, uh uh Daniel go in line then with with seven hungry lions that hadn't eaten in weeks, man. Come on, man. <laughs> So now all of a sudden, when it's time for the prophets to come back and, and, and go through the fire again, he, he, he just going to take take us up out of it before, you know, it hit. No, man. That don't, that, that's, that's a coward's move, man. You know? Hey, we, we, we have to go through this, man. You know? As a matter of fact, I brought this out last time. Uh, 
I'll get it. I brought this out last time we did a lesson together, Yash. The spirit on me to bring it out again. But we gotta go through it, man. This this, this uh Joel 9 and uh 22. It says, This is one thing, therefore I said it. He destroyed the perfect and the wicked. Now check this out. If the scourge slay suddenly, he will laugh at the trial of the innocent, man. You know? So hey, because at the end of the day, we we may have to die, you know. We may have to uh, be placed in concentration camps. We might go be thrown in the prison, all right? But it's all for the testimony of Yahweh Shah's glory to be revealed, man, at the end of the day, you know? I got Shalom, Makim. Y'all be some of the brother thumb. Shalom, Makim. Y'all be some of the brother thumb. It says, um, this is Luke. Um, all right, this is Luke 22 and um, 40. I started, uh, I started, uh, 41. It says, and he would, and he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast and kneeled down and prayed. And this is how shy it says, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me, nevertheless. Not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel and took him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in the agony, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was as if it was great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And when he arose up from the prayer, all right, he came to his disciples and found them sleeping for sorrow. All right. So at the end of the day, you know, Yahweh Shai prayed for that cup to be removed. But he came to the understanding that he had to go through it. You see, the most high is not gonna remove that cup. If he didn't remove it for your house shot, you know, you know, we got to go through it so we can be joint heirs with your house shot. We gotta partake, you know, in our own personal suffering, whatever that is within our life, you know, to be made like enough to your house shot. You see, to be part, you know, uh, 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 of their rulership, man. You know, so. Each brother, you know, got to do what, man? Bear their bear their cross, man. You know, and that's why you see why the spirit, you know, uh, is is amping up, you know, for brothers, you know, to be about the father's business, man. You know, a uh, uh, day for day, you know, because what each end of each individual brother got to do what they got to do to endure to get past whatever they got to get past, man. Because no other brother can bear your cross, no other brother can overcome your flesh, man. We got to overcome our own flesh, man. You see? And that comes from being what? Built up. He said he sent the angels to strengthen him. So let you know that the Lord going to get the elect, all right, the spirit to go through these times, man. You know? But we got to go through it. You see? You got it, bro. Hey, I got two scriptures real quick. Bob Gashar. Hey, Bob Gashar, let him finish this out. Okay, good. Come. Doing the ball. finish it out, bro. The Proverbs. Yeah, go ahead and finish it out. All right, Proverbs 1 and 32. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso mm -hmm. hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall hey, be. That, that's, that's, how they, that's how they look at us when we, when we come with the reproof, man. You know? You know how they, how they just wave us off? You know? Like we just simple, you know? They turn us away. Like, they don't want to hear what we got to say. We go into the, how you keep the Sabbath, you know, sex on the Sabbath is going off. Cornelius was an Israelite. The RFID chip is the, uh, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. You know, we, we break these things down constantly and they turn us away, man. You know, go ahead, bro. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safe and shall be quiet from, from fear of evil. Right. So that's what it's going to come down to. You know, those that's hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shock, going all the way back to Deuteronomy 28, man. All right. The, the blessings and the curses. Because that, that, that's what it boils down to, man. Choosing good and evil. If you're going to choose to do what the Lord has asked you to do to please Him to receive salvation, 
are you going to continue to uh, uh, go about after the way of the heathen? You know, and the more you look at these other Israelite camps, the more they starting to be uh, uh, more likened unto the world, which is enmity with the most high, man. You know? But you got it, uh, I know. Okay, come on, this, uh, Acts 14, like, Acts 14, 22. Confirm the souls of the disciples and exhort them to continue in the faith and that we must do much tribulation into, into the kingdom of the Most High. Hey, through much tribulation is how we're going to enter into the kingdom of the Most High, man. You know? Uh, you know, Baba Kushai, get uh, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. Uh, round verse eight. Yeah, you go here. You go ahead and get your other one. Oh. Yep. Uh, this uh, Psalms one sixteen and fifteen. Precious in the sight of the Lord, Yahweh Bashamashai, is the death of His saints. Precious in the sight of the Most High is the death of His saints. Going back to what Yahshua was talking about, Yahweh Shai, man. If Yahweh Shai had to go through it, you know we had to go through it. Yahweh Shai, the chief of the, the chiefest of the saints, man. You know. Hey, going going into what it say about the elect, the elect shall scarcely be saved, man. All right, which is it, it's gonna come down to a point to where we gonna be like, man, Lord, is you gonna is you gonna get us out of here? You know, well, we're gonna have to solely, you know, uh, uh, uh we got to solely depend upon Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit. All right, down to some of us is gonna get down to the last breath, man. You know, but you got to be ready and prepared mentally to go through that, man, to bear that cross. Go ahead, uh, you know. You got the second Ezra 9, I think verse, uh, around verse 8, where it talk about how you're going to be saved. Come on, seven. Yeah, through works. Hey, you got to unmute that jump on you, know. Hey, yeah, unmute, unmute the mic, uh, Yakanon. And y'all can know Bob Kushai whole uh, Revelation, the second chapter, why he getting that. You say Revelation 7? The second chapter. The yep. second chapter? Uh, you can hold on. God, this is thick. So like, Go ahead, Z uh, Zahab. You can hold uh, Second Thessalonians, I believe, the fourth chapter. All right, come. This is Second Ezra nine and seven, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby yeah, have man. you have believed? See, by works and, and and your faith, where you have believed, that's how you're gonna be saved, man. You can read the next. You can read the next one. Verse eight shall be preserved. From from the said pearls and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me, for me hey, from the beginning. Just telling you, man, we got it. We gonna go through it, man. You know, but we gonna be preserved from it. You know, at the same time, no matter what it comes down to, hey, if you are the elect, you gonna you gonna escape, man. All right, you gonna escape by faith and by your works, man. Right, as it's saying, uh, in Habakkuk, the just shall live by faith. All right, and that's what it's gonna all come down to. Uh, Revelation, the second chapter, you can start it like, uh, I want to say, like, round verse seven. All right, let me see. Yeah, yeah, cunt, cunt. And okay. uh, Zahab, uh, give me that word overcome it in the blue letter Bible, Baba Kusha. All right. Uh, this is uh, Revelation 2 and 7. It says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life. Uh, which, which is in the midst of the paradise of the Most High. Yeah, man. It says to him that overcometh, overcometh what? 
So let's get the word overcometh in the blue letter. Okay, this is the word overcometh. Uh, Nikeo, which means to conquer, to carry off the victory, come off victorious. Uh, when one is arraigned or goes to law to win the case, maintain one's cause. Conquer, overcome, prevail, get the victory. So we gotta we gotta conquer a hey, uh the, the trials and tribulations ahead through faith, man. All right. We gotta earn it, you know. Like the Lord, He's gonna make it to where without a shadow of a doubt, when we get them crowns, hey, you, you, ain't, you ain't gonna have nothing to say, you know. You ain't gonna have nothing to say. Cause our lives are gonna be foolproof, man. You know, Lord willing, we those elect men. You know, the lives of the elect gonna be foolproof, shown that they were the ones that, without a shadow of the doubt, deserve to get those crowns, man. Deserve to be uh, uh, uh what it say, found uh, uh, eating of the tree of life in the midst of the in the midst of paradise of your heart by seeing how it's shot, man. You know. Got something? I guess I'm about. Go ahead. I hear your spirit over there. <laughs> <laughs> Second seven. I'm going to start at 57. Second answer 7 and 57. The answer he me and said, this is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. Mm -hmm. That if he be overcome, he shall suffer as that has said. But if he get the victory, he shall receive the thing that I say. And you got it out. Well, let me get it. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. This is the condition of the battle, man. You know, you, you got to fight, man. And that's ultimately the bunk of this, um, the tribulation, you know, with the rapture doctrine, man. Yeah. And I think they're not going to go through it, man. But as we to say, uh, the must, um, the hey. most tribulation you should enter into the kingdom of the Sabbath, uh, of the Lord, you know, kingdom of heaven. Man, the Lord ain't, the Lord ain't finna, you know, make three trips back, man. They say a second coming, man. You know? Yeah. Christians talking like uh the Lord gonna come, then they go they go leave and he gonna come back again. No man, that ain't in the scriptures, you know. Yep. But y'all can uh, jump to verse nine and uh read nine and ten, and then uh so uh, we can get uh Second Thessalonians. Yeah, it, it, the Lord wants you to fight for the kingdom, you know. All right, this uh Revelations uh two and nine. It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Yep. Verse, verse 10, no, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. Yeah, so, hey, he's talking about us having to suffer, man. Being cast into prison, man. What are we going to be cast into prison for? All right? For not worshiping the image of the beast, man. You know? When they come with these mandatory vaccines, when they come with the with the chill, you know, hey, we're not gonna move in the vibration of the world. So a lot of us, I mean, I had a dream about that recently, man. You know, I was in a uh, basically a concentration camp, but I wasn't even afraid, man. You know, and we was under heavy heavy persecution, heavy gunfire. You know, so, uh, 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 over uh, thousands of soldiers. Surrounded us, but well, we can't move, you know. But hey, whatever it is, we have to be ready to bear it, man. Even if it comes unto death, you know. Uh, let's get that uh precept where it say uh uh strive for the truth unto death. That's Revelation two, man. That's in Revelation two, man. That's a wrap. It's a wrap. Come. The Sirach 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Yep. Now you can bring that Matthew out. Okay, this Matthew is uh, Matthew 16. And I start 27. Yeah. 
Matthew 16, 27. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Hold on. Wait a minute. It said he going to reward every man according to his works when he come. So what's this What's this uh, seven-year tribulation period? The Lord going to leave and come back? No, the when the Lord when the Lord comes off this that uh that 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 seat man comes to judge the earth, that's it. <laughs> no, it ain't. That's that's the final judgment, man. You know, the Lord coming to lay the law down, man. It ain't no. Uh, uh, he, it say it say he coming to pour it out without mixture. No. You know his indignation without mixture, man. Yeah. I got a cool. Go ahead, uh, Yash, you got it, bro. The Jeremiah 9, 25. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema, Shai, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Woo! Which means what? The, 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 the ones that know and the, one, the, the two-thirds basically going to be broken up into parts. <laughs> the ones that know the Lord's will and know they Israel and the ones that's you know in still in that Gentile state of mind, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and then also um, you know, it's talking about all of Israel and all the heathens, you know. All the heathens. Yeah, so there's every man, you know, according to their works, you know. Um uh, matter of fact, one more just to bring it home. Um uh, so I'll get that uh Revelation eleven eighteen, just link up with it. Cause this is how you how shot, yeah. You how shot coming to handle all business when he come back, you know, the second time, man. He's not doing nothing partial, man. You know, you got it, bro. You want the revelation first? Yeah, Revelation 11 and 18. Yep. Um, revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath mm -hmm. is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, yep. and to the saints. Yeah, so and then you know, the it letting you know that wrath coming to the dead, you know, which is these other nations, you know. And then he said reward coming to the prophets, you know. So he's going to give all right, every man a reward, whether good or bad, according to their works. The heathens finished, man. You see? And then he said he's going to give reward to the prophets, which make up 144,000. You know, and the saints who make up, you know, the rest of the one third, you know. So go ahead. Uh, it says, uh, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And that's Esau Edom. So he summed up everything in one precept. All right. The dead, which is the <laughs> other nations. All right. These heathen nations. All right. The, uh, the elect are going to get rewarded. All right. Um, for good, which is immortality, you know, rulership, you know, dominion, you know, so forth and so on. And then you're going to have Esau, you know, he's going to get destroyed because he's the destroyer of the earth, man. So you have a shot coming to deal with every, uh, every sect, all right, of, of what they say, mankind, you know, in the earth when you come back, man. You know, just proving what you were saying, Tyler Mark. But you got, you got it, bro. I got a quick one. This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Yeah, and ultimately, the judgment seat gonna be the, the chariot, you know, because that's what judge, judgment gonna come forth from when our shot come back, you know, it's gonna be from that big fathership. That's gonna be that, that great judgment seat, man. And ain't gonna be like uh like Christian like to think, you know, it's gonna be a long line, you know, the old Edomite with a beard, you know, uh like you um in, in traffic court, you know, you waiting on your name yeah. to get called to the front, you know, and you're gonna mm -hmm. open a big book on your deeds. No, man. All right, like Jake say, man, hey, you have a shot come to the whole court in the street, man, you know. He, hey, he gonna execute that judgment in the street, man. You see, you when you when you get your head turned to powder, 
That's how you're gonna know if you're guilty or not. That's gonna be the verdict. That's gonna be the gavel that hit your ass, man. You know, the intense fire, man. They evaporate everything out your ass, man. You know. God. You go back to Matthew. Yeah, you can finish that. Uh, that was all you had, bro. Yeah, that was it, bro. You got. It. Okay. <clears throat> back in Matthew 16, 28. Then I say unto you, there be some standing here which should not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. See? Hey, so think about it, man. If it's going to be some men that ain't going to taste death until they see the Lord coming, that means, you know, hey, it's going to be a, a certain number of men that's going to go through everything. <laughs> They're going to go through everything, man. They're going to survive everything until they see the Lord coming. All right? And then they're going to be changed. They say they're not going to taste death until they see the Lord coming. So, you know, death basically represents uh, when you leave, when your spirit leaves the body. So our spirit is going to be caught up out of these bodies and we're going to be changed. Lord willing, you know, if any of us are those men that make it through all of that. You see? I got a quick one. Real quick, bro. Sorry. Go ahead, bro. This second edge is five. It's like a second edge is six. And 25. Yeah, second edge is six, 25. Whosoever remaining from all of these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your word. Mm -hmm. And the man that I will see shall see it. And who have not tasted death from their birth, and the heart of the habitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. Yep. You got it out. And, and that's plain and simple, man. Because some, hey, cause you got a lot of people that um say YOLO, you know, you only live once, man. But scripture say uh, some here should not taste the devil, you know. And then, hey, they're going to see the Lord coming in his kingdom. You know, it's good to say those that endure to the end, the same should be safe. Yep. You know. So let's get into, you know, the uh the scripture that they use, you know, uh to, to justify that doctrine of. You know, they're going to be uh, the rapture. They're going to be raptured, you know, which, it, you know, it, it we are going to be uh, taken up. But that's all going to happen at the time of the destruction. Everything going to be simultaneously, man. It's going to be angels. It's going to be uh, going throughout the earth, destroying. And it's going to be angels going throughout the earth. It's going to be uh, a reaping of the righteous souls for salvation. It's going to be destruction and deliverance simultaneously, man. There ain't going to be no group of individuals that's going to get delivered. And then it's going to be ones left behind that's got to go through everything to, to be tried again. No, man. We're going to be on trial all at the same time, man. You know? And when the and when the deliverance comes, it's coming for the entire elect. That's it. You know? Uh, you said you had something? No. Okay, uh, uh, Yakanon, hold, uh, we'll, I'll let you hold the last one, unless brothers got something else. Uh, hold that, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter. Three and one. But yeah, Rob, you can go ahead with the, uh, with the first Thessalonians. Four and uh, uh, started uh, 15. John, this is uh, first Thessalonians 4 and 15. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Right. So when you go into what this is talking about, it's talking about brothers that have passed uh, 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 with the spirit of Yahweh Shimi Shah, and they are the elect. All right. You know, you're going to have uh, 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 brothers that's not going to be here. The Lord going once they've done their time in the spirit and they've done their bidding, they've done their work. The Lord going to call them up and they you know what I'm saying? They already had their judgment. They'll rise in the, in the time, you know. And brothers going to go through things. They might lose their lives for this truth. As it says, strive for the truth unto death. Hey, as long as you die, hey, with your last breath, fighting for the kingdom, fighting for the righteousness and, and the judgment of Yahweh, Shah, 
Amen. That's the that's the way that uh, the Lord gonna have His elect be raised up first for the brothers that still gonna be here, man. You know. Cool. To this Revelation 14 13, you know, we said, Blessed are the dead that died in the name of the Lord. You know, that's a blessing. Yep. And we brought up Psalms. It's a uh, precious, it's in the sight of the Lord. It's a death of his saints. It's a death of his saints. Come on. Yep. We just bring it out. I bring it out at Revelation 14 and 13. And it says, uh, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto, unto me, Right. Blessed are the dead which died in the Lord from henceforth. Yes, yeah, said the spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their work do follow them. Yep. So they fulfill their lots, man. You know, they, they did the work that was set for them to do, man. You know? And, and, and technically they're not dead. They're in the spiritual realm. You know, it's just that that, 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 that body, that last uh, vessel that they lived in, hey, that's the last vessel they'll live in until they come and be changed into that elect vessel, man. You know, until they and get that that incorruptible crown, that incorruptible body, man. What the Lord said, He's not the uh, not the power of the dead, but the power of the living. You That's know? right. Uh, go ahead, those out. Uh, it says. Um... Let's see, verse sixteen. It says, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Yahweh shall rise first. Right, then, so those, those are going to be the men that's going to have the first seats on the cherries, man. You see, it's already going to be uh, uh, members of the elect. Of the body of, of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the elect members of the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh on those cherries, man. Okay, go ahead, bro. It says then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Hey, to hey, and that ain't talking about no seven years later. Where you get that from? You know that where where they come from? You see, that ain't what that's talking about, man. That ain't nowhere in there. The Christians just be freestyling. Go, go ahead, go ahead, bro. To meet the Lord in the air, and and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Yeah, you know. So that's what you know. We look forward to, man. As it um, uh, get that second people. Uh, matter of fact, let me let, let, let you know. I get the second Peter. What is it? Uh, four, uh 17. four and seventeen. Especially he says, Yep. And then we'll end. Unless brother got something else, we can close out with Wisdom Solomon three and one. No, first Peter four and seventeen. Yeah, come on. First Peter four and seventeen. Come, this is first Peter four and seventeen. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the most high? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the yeah. sinner appear? Wherefore, let them think. Yeah, and so that's like, the point, you know, I wanted to expound on. It say the righteous shall scarcely be saved, man. You know? So that means we're going to have to go through it. You know? If a brother want to look up that word scarcely, you know, just to, uh, you know, bring some more uh, edification to uh, uh, the point. Get that word uh, scarcely. I got the Google definition really quick. It says only just, almost not. Hardly, barely. Hardly, hardly, hardly. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard fault, man. Yeah. <laughs> I got it in a blue letter. Come. 
Strong's G, 3433, Mollies. Mollies. It's uh, Mollies with difficulty. Woo! And right, let's go with that straight gate, you know? Bless the difficulty. Hardly, not easily. Uh, scarcely, very rarely. Hey, that's it, man. Hey, it said with much work. With much work. The stronger definition. You know? Yeah. And of course, Christian's gonna say that because, you know, they don't, they don't do no works, man. You know, not the work required. You don't see you don't see these Christians out here uh, uh, getting on the wicked, getting on the homosexuals, getting on the pedophiles, getting on uh, Esau and all his wickedness, man. You know, all they talking about is prosperity and comfort, man. You know, that whole doctrine is a, a doctrine of you having the easy the uh, the gravy train on biscuit wheels, man. You know, they already say they already say. The scriptures say, he that what? Endure to the end shall be saved, man. That means you got to suffer until the end. You got to endure hardness. You got to take that difficult path, that narrow gate, all the way until your hour shot comes, man. Well, I got it out the Oh, go ahead, Doc. Yeah, I got a quick one bagging up that scripture say, this is uh, second Ezra 4. And on 48, it says, So I stood and saw and beheld a hot burning oven passed before me. And it happened that when the flame was gone by, I looked and beheld the smoke remained still. So that hot burning oven, you know, is those missiles, you know, because the missiles coming down, we're going to be going up, man. You know, God. Ezra had that vision, you know, as if he uh, passed by the missiles and he even, you know, felt the heat. You know, showing you that uh, it's going to be scarcely, you know, scarcely saved, man. You know, and it says, then, and, it, and listen how the angel broke it down. He said, then said he unto me, consider with thyself as the rain is more than the drop and the fire is greater than the smoke. But the drops and the smoke remain behind. So that's that left behind when the missiles come. You see, uh, left behind. In a functioning society, no, you're gonna be left behind when the missiles come and the elect get on them chariots, man. You mm. see, and it said, So the quantity which is past did more exceed, you know. So uh, the, the elect are like that, uh, that, that, uh, the, 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 the rain and the fire that gets delivered, but you see, the smoke and the puddles that the, that the, the smoke, the uh, fire make and the puddles. That the rain leave behind, you know, that's similar to those that are left, you know, for this uh uh, uh destruction, man. You know, God, that's that scarce to say, you know. You got it, bro. I got that in uh, Second Ezra nine. This is uh Second Ezra nine, and I'll start at fifteen. It says I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter. That there be many more of them which perish than of them which sh shall be saved, like as a wave is greater than a drop. John, and that's the that's the that great the great multitude of our people that's gonna be left behind, man. You know, for their destruction. You know, not no damn rapture. You know, they just gonna be, you know, going through all the you know, all these different things. You know, they gonna have to deal with the number of crazy y'all. It's gonna be already happening, man. You see, left behind gonna be on ground zero when the move hit. You see, so uh, 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 it's gonna be a few here. You know, that great number is gonna be destroyed. There's gonna be a few deleted. That great number. Ah, uh, right, that's what say uh, Isaiah twenty six. Into that chambers into the uh in the nation of the Lord be able to pass. Yeah. You know, you can finish it out, Bob Shah. Come, verse 19. Wherefore, let them suffer according to the will of the most high. Commit commit the keeping of their souls to him to him in wit and well doing as unto a faithful creator. Yes, yeah, say wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of your how about she how shot. So that means every man has an allotted amount of suffering that they have to go through, man. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
okay? But it say what? Commit to the keeping of thy souls, man. All right? Going into what? The time that we in now, what the Father telling us to exhort one another daily, man. You know? Hey, for what? The keeping of our souls. That's why we have a, a, a pastors according to the most high's own heart, you know? That's not something that they're doing to try to, uh, you know, uh, uh, make us just have extra work to do. Hey, that's what it's about, man. All right? Hey, the, the scriptures speak about the, the most high with great labor have he kept his plant. All right? His plant is he's elect his sheep. So how much more are we to feed the sheep, all right, so that it can be kept to what? The words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh all right? So this word got to go out and, and, and finish this course, man, you know? We know that uh, at the end of a marathon, it's an all-out sprint, man, you know? That's where we at now. We, 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 had, we had a sprint to the finish line now, man. We're giving it everything we got. At the end of a fight, you know, when they get into the heat of the of the, of the last of the championship rounds, like the brother Yash did uh, a lesson earlier, I don't. It was soon. I know that. I know it was in the in the in the very uh, near past. It was, brother's been putting up a lot of videos, but anyway, them championship rounds, man. Then you you let them punches go, man. You know, you don't hold back. But uh, um. Uh, we can get uh hey, I have a precept real quick, bro. Go go ahead, go ahead, y'all can uh, can we get uh the Yash uh I guess uh Jeremiah 30, 31 and is it 31 and 7? Uh, no Jeremiah 30 and 7. We can get the closing ones if brothers ain't got nothing else. That's pretty much all I got, bro. You got it, Yakuna. Go ahead, bro. All right. This uh first Timothy six and twelve. It says, Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Yeah, man, we gotta hey, this is a fight, man. We gotta continue to fight in this thing, man. You can't get complacent, man, and sit back and and, and and feel like, you know, well, I'm good now, you know. I, I'm, I, you know, I did enough, you know. You can't rest, man. Yeah. We got to keep going. Go, Actually, go harder, like you were saying, bro. We got to push harder now. But we at the end, man. Yep. And it just come with, you know, you making the most of your time. You know, you got to make, you got to make every minute count, you know. Yep. Um, uh, like like I know Yash was telling us uh when he was down here, hey, think about tomorrow, think about what you need to do tomorrow to uh you know further the ministry. Prepare yourself, you know, when you're wrapping up your, your, your the day you in today, you know, prepare yourself for tomorrow. You know, I need to be physically capable so that the Lord can use me. Because believe it or not, you know, the Holy Spirit weighs on your flesh, man. You know, so if you're doing uh if you're doing other things that's weighing on your flesh on top of it, you ain't gonna be able to continually perform, man. You know, so as the more we come into these times, it's gonna be required that more trimming is uh is done. You know, the 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 body can't function without the spirit, you know. So hey. If your if your body is 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 over overwhelmed, so to speak, then the spirit is not gonna be able to use you, man. You know. But uh brother has something. Oh, you want the Jeremiah? Uh yeah, and uh cunt. And then we'll close on, on y'all can know you still got the wisdom of Solomon three. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 30. All right, verse six. And it says, ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child 
Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? Salaki, Salaki. Salaki, bro. That's Jeremiah 30 and 7. I just started at 6. Oh, okay, come, 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 come. All right, Salaki. Come. It says, Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, Woo. for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. It said he's going to be saved out of it. You know, he ain't say he's going to be saved from it. You know, a lot of prepositions, Christians. You know, they're going to be saved out of it, not from it. So, hey, we got to go through it. We can uh, get Wisdom of Solomon 3. And then we can uh, wrap it up. I'll let the brother got something. All right. <coughs> this is uh Wisdom of Solomon. It ain't new to this. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1. It says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the most high, and there shall no torment touch them. Yep. In the sight, you got. It. Yep. Say the souls of the righteous are in the hands of the most high. You know, just like uh, uh, Apostle John, you know, they put him in a, uh, in a, in a, a pot and, and boiled him, man. You know, <laughs> he came out fine. So, hey, hey, it's going to be a heavy spirit on us to go through some things that, you know, uh, it seemed like you know, would kill us, seem like would, would tear us apart, you know, the Lord gonna, gonna put a, a hell of a hedge on us, man, you know, like, we just have to fear not and have faith, but go ahead, y'all can know, you got it. All right, verse two, it says, in the sight of the unwise, they seem, seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. Yeah. So you gonna have you you know you gonna have uh people that uh see us get snatched up and taken to concentration camps. You know, people gonna witness that. And it's gonna be it, it's probably gonna be broadcasted, you know, on the news. You know, both might be out teaching, you know, get snatched, you know, like everything now anyway is uh anti Semitic. You know, uh, Hebrew Israelite terrorists, you know, they, they already really prepared to come and, and, and get us, man. You know, you know, certain brothers may avoid it. Certain brothers may, may not get snatched. But, hey, when it comes down to it, hey, we're going to be preserved, man. We're going to, hey, we're going to be seen, hey, in the sight of man getting snatched up, getting persecuted. And it's going to seem like, hey, like the scriptures say right here, uh, our departure is going to be taken for misery. But really, it's going to be uh, miraculous works being performed, man. All right. You got it, bro. You can stop at verse 4. Okay. It says, uh, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. Yep. It says, See? They say they are in peace. Yep. <laughs> We're going to be at peace, man. You know? Hey, because when it came down to it, when Yahweh Shah was uh was on trial, you know, and they was asking him the question, he had to go before uh pilot man, you know, and he was just quiet, you know, he was at peace, like he had came to uh what's what's the word I'm looking for? Basically, you 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 it's settled in your mind, like it is what it, like it, like it, I know this is what it is, yeah. you know, it's it's you at peace with it. Yep. Uh, you was gonna say something up? Nah, I was gonna finish it off. Okay, so like you finish it verse five, not verse four. But you got okay. it. Okay. It says, For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And ha having been a little chastened, they shall be greatly rewarded 
for the Most High approved them and found them worthy for himself. Hey, that's what it's all about, man. You know, that's what the, the, the tribulation for the elect is all about being found worthy, all right, and being proved, okay? You know, that's what it's all about, man. So we got to go through it in order to, uh, to, to be found worthy and to be proved, you know? But yeah, that's it, man. That's all I had, y'all. Get you, bro. Oh, all right. Well, with that, you know, we pray that you, brothers, you know, you few sisters that watch with Edify once again, gonna give all praise on the glory of God. Double honors to the apostles in the LGMS rule of teach well, you know, being great example to our younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations to the whole collect. Shalom. Call me out, Shala. A bob, a bob. A bob, a bob. Call me out, Shala. A bob, a bob.